four guys. I'm not going to do this voice anymore. Yeah, um, basically, hello guys watching Geeks Assemble, and today we're going to do a review of the Hornguber games. So, this is a Mickey Cake parody to the Hunger games, you know, not to be mistaken with that. This one's called the Hungover Games. Yeah. So, basically, these four guys, they are, they get so drunk, they can't remember the night before. And they sign up for the Hungover Games, which is basically, we get all these celebrities. Well, not celebrities, we get all these people playing celebrities, like, well-known. You get three Johnny Depps in this film. You get Willy Wonka, the Chocolate Factory. You get um, this other one from... Cowboys and Indians, I think. I've watched it once in my life. I can't really remember it. And, of course, uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. We get three Johnny Depps. We get Avatar. We get Gandalf. And we get these three naked women. Well, four, I think. We've had four naked women in this. And then um, we also get these three other drunkens. And then, um, yeah, we we get Ted. From, you know, the Ted the Bear, the, the talking one that swears and is awesome. We get all them and more. And it's brilliant. It's fun. It's just, of course, the Hunger Games. So we get, obviously, they wake up and like, whoa, where are we? What? And we've signed up for the Hunger Games and we've been sent to the future and we're stuck in this alternate universe. And it's a Mickey take and parallel on that. And they do actually do the gag with that in the future. Um, you the two guys that say, oh, what's up next, and stuff like that, uh, is one of them's from I'm a Sled T. Uh, I'm not sure in his name, but he's quite famous. He's from the Kandashians. Uh, I don't know his name, but yeah, he's in this as well. That's all right. He, they're not really that funny. But the, yeah, uh, the gags that I come across, they're, they're not funny, funny, but it's an interesting story, and you kind of appreciate it in a way, like um, Ted just bashing these people. And then you've got the Johnny Depp um, basically killing off the other Johnny Depps and the fight scenes we have and this Hobbit guy trying to pick up uh, Thor's hammer and then Thor actually bu brutally killing off that. And then there's a Mickey take on, oh, we uh, uh, there was a gay for the end of the film. They say that and they say, like, they're stereotypes. They pick on your stereotypes, they rip on it. And that's the thing you have to do deal with and it's quite funny with that aspect, um, yeah, uh, then they were like, oh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna have a non, they take the mick out of colour as well, like, they don't obviously take the mick out of colour, but they go like, because this blue ladies, it's like, all people of colour get a discount with this and sort of thing like that, so it kind of, it, it pushes towards the boundary of, it's an old classic one, I think it was made in 2014, and yeah, it's a it's on Netflix. It's an it's a weird one. It's a fun one. Um, just as we're going here, this guy is the guy that sends them all back by accident by using these blueberries. This guy, we need to get him to his wedding because he's marrying a dude. And these two that's just disappeared. Great, thanks Netflix. Uh, they're really funny in their main characters, and one of them falls for an actual catnip, which is actually meant to be one of the actual main characters from the Hunger Games, and that was quite funny. And the, the big guy with the beard that sent them all back, um, he's actually reading the Hunger Games book, and then they're on about joking about a second film, and he's starting the Fifty Shades of Grey, so you're like, oh, the second film's going to be weird. Of course, they never do a second film, but it's, an, it's a gag like that. Uh, and they're also looking for their friend um, that's disappeared, and we need to get him to his wedding, sort of thing like that and then we get a scenario at the end where all the main characters are dead all the characters are dead but the main characters and they have to try and kill themselves because only one can survive and they take these berries and they basically die and come back into reality where they're meant to be and go to the wedding and end off there but there's also catnip who's 17 but we won't tell anyone and this other guy uh, the main one of our main characters kind of fancies her and is like oh and we get to see her tits and stuff like that. And it's like, um, yeah, they just make it hilariously funny. And it's just, yeah, it's one of the Mickey takes that actually works. I would say this film worked. I mean, the gags weren't always funny. There was a B, set, uh, it was a B scene uh, when you had to pick up these weapons. There was a massive fight scene. The music was pretty good as well. And the forest hiding and, and stuff like that was pretty cool and decent. 
and the training at the beginning of this film was decent. So yeah, uh, I'd give this one a 7 out of 10. It was alright. I actually haven't really seen The Hunger Games. I've seen bits of it. At school, we read The Hunger Games and then, uh, well, I can't really remember it, but yeah, we read it and then we watched half an hour of the movie and then, of course, break time happens or something like that at school and we never watched the rest and yeah so i've seen bits of it but i've never really and i've seen bits on tv but i've never really watched the the tran uh the franchise but i've got them on dvd so i may watch them in the future and review them on the channel if you're interested in the actual hunger games and me reviewing that better in detail because you can't really pluck out a comedy of a, a gag of this film you know but yeah uh, I'll review the plot of that and stuff like that. If you want me to, comment down below. Get the video a thumbs up. Get the little bell so you don't miss a video. And subscribe. Because we do videos not just on random movies. We do Gotham shows. We do Be Being Human, Merlin, James Bond, Doctor Who, Torchwood, Star Wars, Back to the Future, uh, the Spider-Man trilogy, Marvel trilogy, DC trilogy, uh, Pirates of Caribbean, Sherlock. You name it, we'll be reviewing shows and movies all the way, so you might as well subscribe because this channel's pretty much for everyone. And of course, I'll see you guys for another video very soon on the channel. Every Wednesday and Saturday, it seems to be my usual channel uploads at 12 o'clock. So yeah, stick around, I'll see you guys for another video very soon. Have a nice day.